hi viewers okay in this video we'll try to answer this question so the question reads in the diagram below npq is a semicircle with center o and the radius five centimeters pm is an arc of a circle with the center q and angle nop is equal to 90 degrees find the length this is length so find the length find the length of the arc pm so we need to find this length okay that's a b the area of the shaded region all right so let's jump into it so we'll start with the finding the arc so how do we find the arc p pm so we need to find this arc very simple here we can use the formula for finding yeah, the circumference or a sector length under sectors so we say c is equal to theta over 360 times 2 pi r okay why have i said so because this is an arc if you can see this right here this is an arc okay so we can find uh, sorry this is the, the the radius of this arc which is over here so this entails that we can find this by using formula for finding length over the sector so our duty here is to find this angle and then we come and use this formula so let's try to work out things in the question they have said the radius since this semicircle the center of it is right here at O and the, the radius we've been told that the radius is the five centimeters we know that this is five centimeters and uh, from here to here since it's the radius it's also five centimeters so if you can see nicely inside here we have a triangle we have a triangle so let me copy the triangle we have inside it looks like this okay and here it's 90 degrees right here it's 90 degrees we have five centimeters here and five centimeters right here okay so we can find the hypotenuse by using by using pythagoras theorem so this will just be like c squared is equal to a squared plus c b squared of which we have a 5 squared plus 5 squared and c squared there this will be 25 plus 25 is 50 so to find to calculate for c we need to find the, the square root of, of 50 of which in this case it will just be a um, 5 multiplied by root of 2 centimeters so now we've found this to be 5 multiplied by 2 centimeters the distance from here to here we can even put it back we can write it here so we'll say 5 root of 2 centimeters that is from here to here okay and this side we know that it's 5 centimeters this is also 5 centimeters which entails that this angle is 45 degrees because this side and this side are equal when we have two equal sides you 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 say the angle that is here is 45 provided this is a right angle triangle always here there is a 45 if you want you can use sokatoa you get 45 right here okay so now we have the angle so arc so we'll say arc p m is equal to the angle there is 45 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 uh, times pi this is pi times the radius p pq this is the radius so 
this is it's like this this is an arc like this up to here so the radius is from here to here it's 5 multiplied by square root of 2 even from here to here it's also 5 multiplied by square root of 2 so we can say 5 and uh, root of 2 right here let me cut here okay okay so now here when we work out things here we get our calculator we punch so we have uh, 45 degrees times 2 times z pi pi you can write it as 3.142 or uh, 22 over 7 times 5 and uh, okay so we're getting uh, we're getting one let me write it here we're getting a uh, one nine 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 point two nine seven three two two over three hundred and sixty. So when we divide by three hundred and sixty, what are we getting then? We are getting five. Our answer is five point. 60 centimeters so for this question the first question will say our answer right here is 5.60 centimeters okay so we are done with the question a we go to question b so for question b the area of the shaded region the shaded region is right here, the one I've shaded in red. So how can we find that area? Very complicated stuff. So what we are going to do here is to simply find the area of this sector. Let me copy the sector. So the sector here, okay, so of this sector, let me, let me, let me copy it nicely, I think my diagram is not okay, we have a sector which looks like this, good, here we have a Q, P right here, and M from the diagram. And uh, we have uh, 45 degrees. Here we found 45 degrees. Here is uh, this. Okay. So the length from uh, Q to P is the same as Q to M. Because in the question they have said this is the center of this arc. So this is also 5 multiplied by root, uh, root of 2. Okay. So now uh, to find this we need to find the area of this. After we find the area of this, we come and find the area of the triangle which is inside here. There is a triangle here, right angle triangle, and then we subtract that area. Also, we find the area of this sector. We come and subtract the area of this stuff here. So let me just jump into action. So area, area of the sector is equal to three over I mean pi over 360 times 2 pi, uh, sorry, not 2, don't put a 2, it's pi r, like this, without a 2. So, our theta is 45 degrees over 360 here, degrees, times our pi, we can write, uh, we can just punch this pi on your calculator or you write, uh, 3.142 or 27 over I mean 22 over 7 our radius we know it's 5 multiplied by root of 2 so work out on a, we work out this on our calculator what are we getting so 45 times pi times uh, root of uh, 
5 multiplied by root of 2 squared. There is a power 2 there, squared. We're getting 7, 0, 6, 8, point five eight three four seven one so now this we divide by 360 degrees and what are we getting we're getting nine point six centimeter squared this is our area or this is the area of uh, the sector so now, since we have found this area of the sector, we'll call this as the area 1. We need to find area of this triangle inside the right angle triangle, which is this side here, right here. Okay? So let me copy it. It's like this. It's coming from here. It goes like that, like that. So let me just copy it. Okay. This is a triangle, and uh, we know that this is 5 centimeters. This is also 5 centimeters. And we know when we want to find area of a right angle triangle, we use the formula area is equal to 1 over 2 bh. So what is our, what is our, our b is 5, and our h is also 5 of which we'll get a 25 divided by 2. So what is 25 divided by 2? What are we getting there? It is 12.5. Uh, so we have 12.5 uh, centimeters squared. So this is our, our area of the triangle. So we call this as the area 2. So now, Look, our main idea of doing all this, we want to find the area of this stuff right here. Let me, let me show you the area we want to find. We want to find the area of this region. After finding the area of this region, we come and subtract it from the area of the sector, which is over here. So now we have found the area of this sector and the area of this triangle. Why can't we say area of a sector minus area of this triangle will remain with the, this area over here? So let me let me let me let me do it. So it will be like this. Area one, which is over a sector, minus area two that will, that is over a, a, a right angle triangle. So that will be nineteen point six minus. 12.5 and what we we'll get here is what are we getting 7.1 so our area is 7.1 centimeter squared and this area it's for this this region right here okay so now since we've got the area of this region let's find the area of the sector so area of the sector, the sector which is right here, we know the angle here is 90 degrees. So just use the formula, area is equal to theta over 360 times 2. Why am I writing 2? This is area, supposed to be pi r, not 2, pi r squared. So we know our theta is 90 degrees over 360 times pi here times the radius is 5 5 so which is 5 squared so the radius from here to here for the normal semicircle here from here to here is 5 centimeters so that's the 5 centimeter I'm using and the angle here is 90 degrees so we punch on our calculator we have 90 times pi times 5 squared what are we getting we're getting uh, something like this seven zero six eight point five eight three four seven one 
So we divide this by 360. What are we getting? We are getting 19.6 in one decimal place. 19.6 centimeter squared. So this area we found is the area over the sector ONP. So now we can say, since we have the area of OMP, we can subtract this area of OMP from ONP. So we just say, this is our final, we just say 19.6 minus 7.1, of which we just get 12. Point, uh, let, me, let me check, is it 12? Yeah, I think 12.5 centimeter squared. And this is our final answer. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel as we'll be giving you videos on different topics, on different mathematics and physics topics. So if you don't want to be left out, make sure you subscribe and uh, like and also comment. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.